Hey everybody, I'm on here today to talk more about eczema because we haven't talked enough about this yet. I have talked about eczema for so long now. I am not an expert and I'm not a doctor, but I have tried a lot of products when it comes to eczema. I have tried so many products, it's not even funny. And some of them I haven't talked about on YouTube because they were really, really horrible and I don't want to go to court. So... <laughs> I guess you could say. So if you wanted to ask me on here, hey, have you tried this product? What do you think of it? I'll let you know, but I'm not doing a video about it because there's so much drama going on today in YouTube and people are getting crapped on everywhere and I don't want to be the next one because I'm such a big YouTuber and there's so many people waiting to crap on me. Yeah, whatever, Kelly. Anyhow, back to the video. Anyhow, I've got some really nasty eczema on my hands and this is an example right here. This is really, it's doing really, really well today actually. And here's another example right there. Mmm, doesn't that look just so yummy, not? Oh, do we have any on this hand? Oh, yes, yes, we do. We have some right here. And, you know, I had it on my eyes, but I don't since I started using the Pelu products. Don't ask me why. All I know is that they really, really work well, and I continue to use them. I also continue to use the L'Oreal Sika cream because it hasn't affected my eye eczema, and it makes my skin look like a million dollars. Okay. I got an email from a girl who asked me um, about doing a review between this product, which I had done a review way back on. This is the Aveeno Eczema Care Itch Relief Balm. And you all know that I absolutely loved that, but she wanted me to do a comparison between that and an Avalon eczema product, but I can't find this product anywhere. And I live in a small town and the closest city is minimum four hours away. So if I could get my hands on this Avalon eczema product, then yes, I would love to review it for you. But unfortunately, I can't find it anywhere and the two drug stores that are here don't have it. <sighs> I sorry. So I thought I would come on here and show you another product that is just as amazing as the Aveeno Itch Relief Balm and just as amazing as the CeraVe products. This is a product that is not well known. I had never heard of it until my mom told me about it and she only found it because she's a volunteer at the hospital and it's something that they use there. So welcome to YouTube, Sween24 by Coloplast. What? This here is, it's a product that my mom found at the hospital and then she found out that she was able to get it at a uh, healthcare store. And I don't mean natural foods or anything like that. I mean like um, if you're in Canada, Shoppers Home Healthcare has this. Can't find it anywhere else. I don't know where you would find it in the US, but if I do find out, and I will look, I will leave a link below as to where you can find it because this is one of the best eczema products as well. You know I love my CeraVe. You know I love my Aveeno Itch Relief Balm. This is right up there with those two products for my hands. This is just incredible. It's called, it says, Sween 24 Moisturizer Dimethicone Cream. Don't press stop yet. Wait till you hear what I have to say about it. Um, hydrating cream for normal to dry, flaky, itchy skin. And then it says Coloplast. I think that must be the company. And if I look on the back, it says, Manufactured by Coloplast A slash S. And it's from Denmark. It's a Danish product. Well, you know what? I never knew that till just now. So anyhow, I tried to use it. I opened it up and I thought, what's this going to be like? Oh, it's like an ointment. Oh Lord, this is going to be so gross, I thought. And this is what it looks like. It's just like um, an opaque ointment. And I put it on my hands and it's not greasy whatsoever. It's wonderful. It has no greasy feeling whatsoever. I was so scared it was gonna be like greaseball fever, but it's not. I'm positive it's water-based. We'll talk about the ingredients after. But I put it on the eczema, and you think, oh, it's not going away, because well, that's what I thought. No, it's not going away, forget it. Uh, <laughs> this stuff is crap, but it is really, really good. And I know because I have used over half the tubes so far. It's quite awesome. And like I said, it's non-greasy whatsoever. 
It just calms everything down right away and it takes that itch away immediately. There's no more itch in my hand whatsoever. So I thought I would show you that just so you could see. Now, it might look greasy, but it's not. It's just not. I don't know. It's It heals. It doesn't heal like overnight in five seconds flat. Um, I shouldn't have said that, but anyway, because it will heal overnight, but <laughs> it doesn't heal like, you know, within five seconds, but you'll notice within 10 minutes that uh, the eczema seems to have gone down and the sores that have opened start to heal right away, which oh, is really amazing. So let's get to the ingredients. I'm going to have to put my little glasses up here. I'm going to read the back to you. The active ingredient, dimethicone 6%. Indications. Temporarily protects and helps relieve minor skin irritation and itching. Relieves dry skin for 24 hours. Directions. Apply to affected area as needed. Warnings. For external use only. Do not put on your eyes. This is not for eczema around your eyes. Um, avoid contact with eyes. Consult a healthcare practitioner if symptoms worsen or last more than seven days. Children. As directed by the physician. So I'm not going to give you any advice on that. My advice is don't do it until you see your doctor. Ingredients in order. Glycerin, water, cetereal alcohol, isopropyl palmitate, ethyl hexyl palmitate, PEG5 dimethylopropane. Oh, this is awesome, isn't it? Tetrahydroxysterate. Behen, behen trimonium methosulfate, PEG-150, <laughs> I'm getting better, um, penteral, nope, penterithril, oh my glory be, I was doing so well, testosterate, wow, that was awesome. So anyhow, the dimethicone 6%. And I've heard people say, oh, it's got dimethicone in it. It's just a silicone. It's not actually helping. It just feels like it's helping. Mm-hmm. Well, it's helping. So I went on to the uh, ewg.org website, which I'll also list below, because EWG, which I think is called Environmental Working Group, it lists um, items, products, and it also, like if you have an ingredient that you're not sure about, just type it into their database, and it will bring up everything you need to know. So... I did not put this in, but I did put the coloplast in, uh, not coloplast, I put the dimethicone in, and the Environmental Working Group's cosmetic database came up with a score of three, which is not bad. The health concerns of dimethicone on Environmental Working Group's Skin Deep website say that the overall hazard is low. Uh, there's no hazard for cancer, there's no hazard for developmental and reproductive toxicity, no hazard for allergens and immunotoxicity. There is, though, a use restriction. They have that almost between low and moderate. So I thought, well, what's that about? Other moderate concerns, organ system toxicity, non-reproductive, other low concerns, data gaps, and ecotoxicology. Okay, well... Organ system toxicity, I am not eating the whole tube. You would have to eat the whole damn tube in order to have a problem with the organ toxicity, all right? I'm not a doctor. I should probably say that, but I do my research because that's what I do for a living is data analysis. So, and I don't mean like just, I mean, I do some major data analysis in my job. So anyhow, when I go down a little bit further and I'm now on the EWG's website, um, the use restrictions say that it's classified as expected to be toxic or harmful, but that's in large doses, and I know that for a fact. Uh, Environment Canada domestic substance list has this listed on it, dimethicone, but most of them do, and we have dimethicone in most of the, a lot of the cosmetics that we use, so I'm really not concerned about it. Um, if I go down a little further here, is there anything else I need to tell you about it? Designated as safe for general or specific limited use in food. I'm not eating it. <laughs> but so that's what I found on EWG's uh, website in regards to dimethicone. So if you have any other questions for that, just go down to the link below and check out EWG's website. But this stuff works so, so well. Now I've put that on 
and already, remember that huge gaping wound I had right there? Look, that's it going away. It was dark red, and it's not dark red now. It's actually gotten better. This one has not gotten a lot better, but I didn't put much on that side. And I put some on this, and it's gone down as well, too. The skin has gone a little bit yellow, which just, for me, that's what happens. My eczema gets hard and yellow, but it is healing. It's not flaking as much when I feel it. So this stuff is absolutely amazing, and I'm going to link it below. I know in Canada you can get it for under $12. So in the States, you can probably get it for like 7 something I would not be surprised. If you can get your hands on this and you're an eczema sufferer, then use it. Because I'm telling you right now, it'll probably help you out a lot. I do hope you enjoyed this review. If you have any questions, please leave them below, and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.